A group of about 2,000 migrants left Mexico's southern border on Sunday, aiming to reach the northern part of the country and ultimately the United States. This exodus occurred just weeks before the U.S. presidential election, where immigration remains a key issue. Many migrants, including Venezuelan Joel Zambrano, expressed concerns about potential changes in U.S. immigration policies. Zambrano noted they say this could change because they could close the CBP, one appointment, and all the services that are helping migrants. The push to leave stems from job shortages in southern Mexico and delays in U.S. asylum appointments. Honduran Roberto Dominguez explained, The situation in my country is very bad. We spent a week by the border, but getting documents takes time. This was the third and largest group to depart since the inauguration of Mexican President Claudia Sheinbaum, who has maintained her predecessor's immigration policies. Activist Luis Garcia estimated that about 40,000 migrants remain stranded in southern Mexico. Meanwhile, the Biden administration's recent regulations may extend strict immigration policies indefinitely, affecting many migrants' legal statuses by the end of October.